This episode is presented by Ardbeg Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Discover Planet Ardbeg today. From the channel behind the prestige TV you stay up to watch as an adult, and the pre-internet porn you stayed up to watch as a kid, comes HBO's return to the Well Esteros in search of an heir to Game of Thrones. Because every other trueborn son of their parent company is dead. House of the Dragon. Remember Daenerys? Girls named Khaleesi sure do. Turns out she and her brother weren't the only nuts in the Targaryen family tree, as you revisit a civil war between rival factions of goth albino sociopaths that only goes down because so many Targs are named Aegon. Aegon, the prince that was promised. You are the one. Then choose a side to root for, even though the only thing these extremely out of touch rich people have in common with their extremely poor subjects is inbreeding. Hey Raymond, come out and look. This one's got a funny eye like you. Meet a whole new tome's worth of characters trying to satisfy their raging throners, like Prince Damon, a fully armed and operational Joffrey. If you're accusing me of some depravity, you'll need to be more specific. Watch Matt Smith continue the hot streak he's been on since Mormon time, as this homicidal narcissist with a limp noodle <sighs> that the internet has a crush on anyway. Are you okay, internet? Viserys, a stellar performance by Patty Constantine, as a king succumbing to parts falling off disease. My own face is no longer a handsome one. Who just wants to hang out in his room and play with his artisanal minifigs all day. He'll declare his daughter Rhaenyra as heir, a girl who looks like she just found out she isn't getting a pony, who gets hardened, sharpened, and aged about 20 years when her bestie becomes her stepmom. Rhaenyra must fight for women's rights over the women's wrongs of Alison Hightower. She's sad. He is your son, Viserys. Your blood. His last words to me, and I was the only one to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> then they're supporting players like Otto Hightower, the Hand of the King, and the King of the Passive Aggressive Remark. Perhaps there's some better use for the princess's talents, Your Grace. Kristen Cole, a hardened combat veteran, yet still the most fragile white knight in the land. Spoiled. The Valerians, an ancient family who bring much needed diversity to people in ridiculous white wigs. And lurking, ever lurking, is Laris Strong, who's like Littlefinger if he were more into little piggies instead. Wee, 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 wee! If you thought MTV's lineup was full of hard to watch pregnancies, strap in for a show that's more comfortable with dead moms and stillbirths than a red state legislature, where the showrunner had to explicitly promise to tone it down this time. And though their female characters go through hell, at least they all have easy access to Plan T. It will rid you of any unwanted consequences. It's best to be certain. So return to Westeros hundreds of years before winter came all over it. But don't worry, the Baratheons are still dumb. Where's the bloody maester? The Starks are still loyal. There has never lived a Stark who forgot an oath. Lannister's smug, Targaryen's cuckoo. The episode's directed by Miguel Sapochnik, impossible to see. And now, more than ever, the dragon's enormous ex machinas that keep surprising people despite being as big and loud as a 747. <laughs> there we go. That's the writing quality we got used to. Starting to feel like old times again. Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. Starring the Leprechaun, Matt Damon. You're an uncle lover, yes, it's true. Nobody loves uncles quite like you. It's not easy being green. The Queen who never gassed. The Dread Pirate Corliss. King Louis of CK. You'll pay for this, Potter. Hollywood's worst Chris. Prince Eric. That's what I do. I lurk and I tow things. The lion creeps tonight. Lucerus looking like a snack. <laughs> Meeting balls. I wonder what those are for. Oh, a human spoiler alert. You are the beast beneath the mold. Immortan Joe's Crab Shack. 
and calling someone a b without really saying it. Sooner or later, you may get one who looks like you. He doesn't know, does he? Or strong. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the commander of the city watch? He is Lenor's son. What grounds could there be? What for indeed, Lord Beesbury? What? Indeed. Come on, you know you want to say it. Her children are Ooh, he said it. You were in so much trouble. <laughs> Wrigley Blonde. Aegon foresaw the end of the world of men. It is to begin with a terrible winter. And if the world of men is to survive, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. Uh, actually, all you really need is a Stark with two working hands. So which shows off to a better start? Game of Thrones or the Hot D? We counted up every kill, lie, and boob in the first season to see who takes the crown in a brand new episode of By the Numbers. Click the thumbnail on the right to watch now. This episode was presented by Ardbeg Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. A whiskey out of this world awaits you on planet Ardbeg.